Hey, what's up everybody? Mike here with another video review. And today we're looking at Universe Inferno. Um, I was watching Rimfire's review and, um, I don't know. I'm kind of confused by the instructions as well, Mike. Uh, you said yours was like this. Well, my instructions, it says it goes like this. So, I don't know. But I do follow your way, Mike, and uh, I prefer it like that. It's much better. It does roll a lot better. Um, so thank you, Mike Rimfire, for showing me the, the way of um, Inferno here. Because those instructions, man, I gotta tell you. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any words that can describe those instructions. I mean, who? Who? <laughs> That's just ridiculous. <laughs> So anyway, now that we've got uh, Inferno um, in a better position here, his rolling position. <laughs> so we have Inferno here, a fire truck. Uh, a fire truck without a ladder, mind you. So he's not going to be saving anybody on uh, uh, high buildings, skyscrapers, or anything like that. Anything above probably two stories, <laughs> uh, he can't do it. He'd be like, ah, I'm out of here. No heroic saving today, because I don't got a freaking ladder. Now, mind you, I do know that there is an upgrade set, but, you know, there, that's no excuse, Hasbro. You could have put a ladder on the side here, or put the gun somewhere right here, and put the ladder right here. It's that simple. I mean, he can pull up to the house and go, ah, or just fire a, you know, a missile of laser water, whatever the hell that is, and, you know, slow the fire down. But anyway, that's my biggest complaint, is it doesn't come with a ladder in the first place. But this is a great figure. This is a cool um, fire truck mode. Nice little details. On the side, see it says fire truck. Um, you do know what the color scheme is. You can see it for yourself. Um, it does hide the robot really well. The only thing you can really see are the legs. But those can be mistaken for engine parts. Um, and the head is hidden really well. As you can see, it's right there. So you can't even see it, can you? <laughs> it's that hidden, man. But there, see, this is a really good detailed figure because it has seats. Um, and even a steering wheel, but that's, you can see that, it's pretty close to the seat. You'd be, you'd be smashed up against that windshield. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, I guess you can see the hands on top, but it's all good. Still a robot in disguise. He's more than meets the eye. So, I guess that's pretty much it for the, uh, fire truck mode. Um... I do want to thank somebody, I'm not going to name him, but one of my good buddies on YouTube um, got me this guy. Um, he's like, hey Mike, he called me up one day, <laughs> that son of a bitch, no I'm just kidding. He called me up, he's like, Mike, I found Inferno, I was like, woohoo, he's like, want me to get it? I was like, yeah, for me? He's like, yeah, I was like, oh, alright, cool. So he bought one for himself and me, and yeah, you know, coolest guy funny guy I thank you sir you kick ass so there you go that's the backstory on the figure my backstory the backstory from generation one I don't remember you know the generation characters generation one characters just came and went so but the transformation of this guy is pretty simple what you want to do is start with these front wheels and fold them in like that Okay, and then you take these gray pieces, gray pieces, brrr, these gray pieces, and fold them up like that. All right, and you have Inferno. No, <laughs> lame joke. But anyway, now you, uh, I guess you can lower the uh, bumper down to there. You take the legs right here, and you just fold them up to there. I guess you would bring the bumper down later, but yeah, you just 
Pull the legs up to here. Alrighty. New key. Spread the legs apart. Turn them at the knee. Turn them at the knee. Now this is kind of confusing because they do turn at the upper part of the leg. And, you know, since knees don't bend forward, they bend backwards. So make sure you spin them. Well, it depends on... I think I've gotten confused. It depends on how yours comes. I can't remember if it was... If it started out like that and then you turned at the upper part of the leg. Uh, oh, whatever. Just make sure your legs bend backwards when you transform them into robot mode. Don't get confused like me. Because I'm confused right now. So, and then you take the feet and push them down like that. Alrighty. Change your camera position. Okay. Uh, see these shoulder pieces right here? You just want to loosen them up here. Alrighty. Okay. Yep. You just lift them up like that. Hopefully you won't have as much trouble. You know what? Lift this one up first and then bring the arm forward like that. Alright. Just to get it out of the way. And then... <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Bring that up. Fold the uh, arm forward. Take this piece and fold it back like that. Take the piece, turn it all the way around and fold it back. Take these panels on his arms, fold them up. Turn them around. Okay. Fold them up. And turn them around. Alrighty. Yep. Take his gun, turn that around. Get it in battle ready mode. I'm gonna squirt you with water. And finally, the most confusing part about this is the uh, instructions say push this. It says, I swear to God, it says push it, or it says do, it, it does some, I don't know. The hell with the instructions. What I do is I just. See, so yeah, I just push down right here. And his head will pop up and BAM! Finally, you take this piece and fold it up like that. So, I made that transformation look unbelievably complex, but really, this is very easy to transform. Super easy to transform. So easy to transform, you could do it in your sleep. Well, probably not, but it's that easy. So, give a 360. Alrighty. Um, articulation, his head can go all the way around. It can actually look up and it can look down a little bit. Um, his shoulder articulation. <laughs> ah. Them are some pretty tough ratchet joints. But yes, it can go all the way around at the shoulder, can go out at the shoulder, can bend at the elbow, can turn the, I'll just say elbow, can turn at the elbow. Um, and his fists can turn at the wrist. His legs can go back to there, can go forward to there, can bend at the knee. And, as you saw, it can turn at the upper part of the leg and at the knee. So, and his feet can pivot. They can go down, they can go up. So, get some pretty cool poses out of this guy. Now, another thing is waist. As you can, you can see that, it can do that. It can go back and forth like that. See that? But, it can't turn at the waist. But that's fine. It's not a big deal. So... And I guess this gun can go like this. It can go up and down and it can turn. But why would you want it to do that? I don't know. So... You've probably seen millions of views or reviews of this guy. 
but like I said, I'm just giving you my opinion on this figure. It is a fantastic figure. Um, the weight was worth it. I'm very pleased with it. The only thing I'm upset about is the fact that it does not come as a ladder. That is just dumb. Doesn't make sense. But it is nonetheless a good figure. See that light piping? That is unbelievable! I was kind of upset that I, I couldn't find him in time for TF3. I was going to throw him in there and have him blow some... Uh, what are those things called again? Decepticons. Blow some Decepticons away. Um, it's all good though. And no, I'm not going to do a deleted scene. I, I have a feeling someone's going to say that. That's so funny. I don't know what I'm thinking. What am I talking about? I'm talking to myself, really. But anyway. So all you people that are listening out there, watching. Uh, yes. You know what? I don't like his back. There. There are two things that I don't like about this figure. So, he gets a uh, 9 out of 10. Ooh. Uh, I recommend this figure. Go get him. He's 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 awesome. He's really cool. Um, Universe line is just continuing, continuing to impress me. Freaking awesome! I cannot wait to see what they, you know, see what the Revenge of the Fallen figures are like. See what they give us then. But anyway, enough rambling. I've rambled on quite a long time. This is probably a long ass review, so I won't bore you guys any longer. Run the review now. Uh, you guys have a good day, and uh, I'll catch you later. Um, I have to tell you, my subscribers and friends, um, it has been a while since I reviewed. I wasn't taking a break. I wasn't suck at YouTube or anything like that, no. Um, but I was thinking, and that's yeah, it's pretty steep for someone like me, but... Uh, I was thinking it's time to restructure my channel. And uh, it means a lot of changes are coming. Of course, the stop motions will stay. I mean, that's what my channel is built on, are the stop motions. Um, reviews are just extra things that I do um, just to give my opinion on a toy. But that kind of stuff, I think, has run its course. So I won't be doing as many reviews anymore. And I know I've made all these kind of videos saying, Oh, I'm done with this kind of stuff. But this time, I'm, I think I'm serious. I, I, I don't want to... I want to do more create creative stuff. Um, um, and, not, and not have my channel revolve around stop motions, but also other live action stuff. I work too hard on the uh, stop motions. I... I put too well. It's okay to put too a lot of your a lot of effort into it, but I think I uh, make it all about the stop motions, and I think it's time to do something different. So, you know, nothing's canceled. It's just probably going to be extended like a series. So yes, I'll be doing parody videos. I've already got a lot planned. Um, I'll, I'll schedule things out. Um. And I'll let you guys know because I've got a whole bunch of stuff planned. And I'm going to hit it hard coming in March. I'm going to smack down on it and uh, get everything going. Um, but just to give you a little idea, I've got TF Origins I've got to work on. Um, that'll be... I was thinking that was going to be about a 12-part series, but I, I, I don't think it's going to be that long. I, I really think I'm going to cut it down to... Maybe a six-parter, or six or eight-parter, um, and then I've got the another series called Apocalyptic Wars, which is my version of what happens after the Beast Machine series. Um, that's all going to be like comic book style, um, with um, Cheetor telling the story of what happened. Um, they're just going to be pictures, you know, just like like I said, comic book style. Um, uh, I'm not sure what you a video or something, but yeah, that'll be that'll be fun. That won't take too long, and it also ties in um, 
ties the uh, the uh, Maximals coming back in time in TF3. That that that's where it leads up to. The apocalyptic Wars leads up to um, Night Slash or not, but Cheetor, Tigatron, and Black Arachnia going back in time, and Vector Prime, of course. Um, and I've got some other things on Smart 5050 we're working on. We're working on the three right now. We've got another thing coming up. Um, hopefully you guys will like it. Um, it's still in like the development stage or whatever fancy filmmaker terms. Um, and a bunch of parody videos for my channel. So, um, I, like I said, I will have a schedule. Like every Tuesday is something, every Wednesday is something, every Friday will be a review or whatever. So, uh, I'm not going to quit reviewing, but it's not going to be the main thing. You know, like one of the main things I do on here. It's going to be just something I do every once in a while. So, with all that bullcrap said, let's get to the freaking figure. Alrighty.